Good morning, kids. It's Miss Sarah here today, and I wanted to share a story with you that I've learned pretty recently. So electric lights are really common today, so much that we don't really need to think about them. If we're changing a light bulb and it dropped and one broke, we wouldn't worry about it too much. We just go get another one and clean it up. But that hasn't always been true. When Thomas Edison was struggling to perfect the light bulb, it took his team of workers 24 hours to put together just one light bulb. When this team was finished with one light bulb, Edison gave it to a young boy to carry upstairs. Step by step, the boy carefully climbed the stairs, afraid that he might drop this priceless piece of work. You can probably guess what happened. The poor boy dropped the bulb at the top of the stairs. It took the team 24 more hours to produce another bulb. Finally, tired and ready for a break, Edison gave the light bulb to the boy to carry it upstairs again. He gave that boy a second chance, and that's true forgiveness. I wonder if you've ever been given a second chance like that before. So in the gospel story that we'll hear a little later today, Jesus teaches us about God's forgiveness. Jesus tells a story about a man who had a fig tree in his vineyard. He went to the vineyard expecting to find some figs on his tree, but there weren't any. He said to the man who took care of the vineyard, for three years, I've been coming expecting to find figs on this tree, and I haven't found any. Cut it down. It's just taking up space. Leave it alone for one more year, the keeper of the vineyard begged. I'll dig around it. I'll put fertilizer on it. And if the fruit doesn't come, then we can cut it down. Okay? In this story, a lot of people think the owner of the vineyard is God and the keeper of the vineyard represents Jesus and the tree represents us, God's children. God has every reason to expect that we'll produce good fruit. What kind of fruit? Not apples or bananas, but things like love, joy, peace, patience, goodness and kindness. Sometimes we don't produce that kind of fruit, but we have a loving and forgiving God. Just like the owner of the vineyard gave the fig tree a second chance, God gives us as many chances as we need, and we don't have to do it alone. The keeper of the vineyard helped the tree by working the soil and adding fertilizer, and Jesus works in our hearts and lives and helps us too. Aren't you glad that we have a loving and forgiving God who gives us all the chances we need? I know I am. Will you pray with me? Forgiving God, we are thankful for the second chances you give us. Help us to give that same grace to others when they make mistakes. And keep us all in your love. In your name we pray, amen. See you kids.